Welcome to Daily Decipher. Here at Daily Decipher, we are devoted to bringing you a fresh perspective of the world with a special focus on the unusual, the extraordinary and the bizarre. Our motto is simple. We want to decipher the world for you one day at a time. Today, we're embarking on a fascinating journey that will stretch the lengths and breadths of our planet. We're about to dive into 10 unusual customs around the world, a compilation that's as spellbinding as it is enlightening. These are customs that intrigue and inspire, customs that highlight the diversity of human culture, customs that are as varied and vibrant as the countries they hail from. As we set off on this riveting ride, we urge you to strap in, keep an open mind, and prepare for wonder. But before we dive in, do us a small favor. See that subscribe button? Why don't you give it a click? Your support helps us uncover more of these fascinating stories. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and accompany us on this riveting ride. Our first stop lands us in the heart of Mongolia, where the echoes of tradition resound in every corner. Here, amid the vast landscapes and the towering mountains, a distinctive sporting culture has been passed down through generations. At its core is the ancient sport of bok, a gripping competition which has its roots deep within the Mongolian people's history. Often mistaken for mere arm wrestling, bok is far more than that. The spectacle takes this universal struggle of power and amplifies it, transforming the seemingly simple act into a thrilling event. This sport is not just about brute force, it is about the battle of wits, it's about employing strategy, it's about resilience under pressure. Participants engage in a unique form of finger wrestling, a test that challenges not just the physical power of the contestants, but also their mental fortitude. They must use their wit to counteract their opponent's moves and their tenacity to endure even the hardest of grips. The sport is a showcase of raw masculinity and a reflection of Mongolia's nomadic lifestyle, where strength and intelligence are key to survival. It is emblematic of the people's spirit, their love for competition and their respect for traditions. As we delve into this rich tapestry of Mongolian culture, we find that Bok is not just a sport, it's a way of life deeply rooted in the values and rhythms of this extraordinary place. This traditional finger wrestling is a test of strength, strategy and resilience. Next, we journey to Spain, a land known for its vibrant festivities, rich culture and delectable food. But there's one particular tradition, unlike any other, that paints the streets of Spain in a rather unexpected hue. Every year, in the heart of this enchanting country, a phenomenon takes place that might just surprise you. It's a spectacle that captures the world's attention, turning the quaint picturesque streets into a battlefield. But this isn't a battle fought with swords or guns. Instead, the weapon of choice here is the humble tomato. Known as La Tomatina, this annual festival transforms the tranquil Spanish towns into epic, vibrant and slightly chaotic tomato arenas. Hundreds and thousands of people gather here, armed with ripe tomatoes, ready to participate in this unique and exhilarating tradition. There is an incredible energy in the air as people laugh, cheer and throw tomatoes at each other. It's a celebration of community, fun and good-natured chaos that fills the streets with a sea of red. From the first tomato thrown to the final cleanup, it's a spectacle unlike any other. Splatters of red paint the town, laughter echoes through the air, and a sense of camaraderie pervades the atmosphere. Amid the chaos, there's a certain beauty in the unity it brings, a testament to the spirit of excitement and love for tradition that runs deep within the Spanish culture. This event is the world's largest and messiest food fight. Leaving Spain, we journey across continents and oceans, finding ourselves in the vibrant, bustling heart of Southeast Asia, Malaysia. This multicultural melting pot is home to the Tai Pusum Festival, a site that is as awe-inspiring as it is deeply spiritual. This unique event marks one of the most important dates in the Hindu calendar, drawing devotees from across the globe. The festival is a spectacle of faith, dedication and endurance, unlike anything seen elsewhere. 
The Thai Pusam Festival is more than just a celebration. It's a demonstration of reverence, commitment and determination. Devotees participate in elaborate rituals that test their endurance and showcase their unyielding faith. One of the most powerful and visually striking aspects of the festival is the intricate piercing rituals. Participants pierce their bodies with skewers, an act that requires not just physical strength but a deep spiritual resolve. The sight of devotees going through these rituals, undeterred by the physical discomfort, is a testament to the lengths they are willing to go to show their devotion. Their unwavering strength and determination serve as an unforgettable image of their spiritual commitment. Now we head to Hong Kong, the sprawling metropolis of skyscrapers, bustling streets and vibrant culture. Here, nestled amidst the urban landscape, exists a tradition that is as unique as it is fascinating. We are speaking of the much-cherished Bun Festival, a spectacle that draws people from all corners of the city and beyond. This celebration is not just any ordinary festival. It is a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage and enduring traditions. It is a spectacle that involves the grabbing of sweet buns, a task that might seem simple, but is in fact teeming with significance. These buns are not just any buns, they tower high above the crowds, stacked on top of towering bamboo structures, meticulously arranged in a way that is pleasing to the eye. Every bun grabbed is an act steeped in local folklore, a respect to the city's ancestors, and a nod to the unique cultural practices that make Hong Kong such a remarkable place to explore. This is a festival that is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people, an annual event that brings together the old and the young, the locals and the tourists, all united in their love for this time-honored tradition. This celebration involves grabbing sweet buns from towering bamboo structures, a tradition deeply rooted in local folklore. Back in Spain, we find a rather daring tradition known as El Colacho. This is no ordinary event, steeped in the rich, vibrant culture of Spain. It is a tradition that has withstood the test of time. It is a tradition that carries a unique blend of religious significance and adrenaline-pumping excitement in one grand spectacle. Born in the heart of Spain's treasured past, El Colacho is not just a tradition, it is an embodiment of the country's spirit itself. Steeped in the deeply ingrained religious sentiments of the Spanish people, El Colacho is a baby-jumping event, an event that is as unusual as it sounds. Believed to cleanse infants of original sin, this tradition has a peculiar but fascinating purpose. The event is a sight to behold, with men dressed in yellow and red who leap over babies laid out on mattresses in the street. The babies, oblivious to the spectacle they are a part of, lie there as the men jump over them, supposedly cleansing them of original sin. While to outsiders, the spectacle might be both thrilling and terrifying, to the locals, it is part and parcel of their culture and religious beliefs. It adds a dash of thrill to religious rites, showcasing the unique blend of faith and culture that is ever so prevalent in Spain. It might be daring, it might be dangerous, but for the people of Spain, El Colacho is a cherished tradition, a testament to their strength and their faith. Moving to Fiji, we witness the mesmerizing fire-walking ceremony. This showcases the spiritual strength and cultural resilience of the locals in a breathtaking spectacle of bravery. Our next flight takes us to Mexico, where the Day of the Dead is celebrated. This vibrant tribute to departed loved ones is a riot of color, music and familial love. Off to the Florida Keys, where divers participate in a unique Halloween tradition, underwater pumpkin carving, a quirky blend of sport and art, it's a sight to behold. Next, we land in India, where the Holy Festival takes place. The air fills with vibrant colors, marking the arrival of spring in the most joyous way possible. Finally, we return to Spain for the Day of the Goose, Ansa Eguna. In this quirky tradition, villagers aim to pluck a goose suspended in the air, a test of agility and determination. As we wrap up our journey through 10 unusual customs around the world, we invite you to share your thoughts in the comments. If these traditions piqued your curiosity, do hit like and subscribe for more fascinating insights from around the globe. Stay curious. Daily Decipher Community.